Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and I'm here playing two different games. The first of which is Dreaming Butterfly, which is a game about following a butterfly, which takes some inspiration from the Butterfly Dream story. Scanner controls, okay. You're pretty sure this reader will go pretty much unused. Now, I think the devs said something that their English isn't too good, so I wouldn't be surprised if this is going to be machine translate, but it might not be. We'll see. There's a window here. A butterfly outside. Because it seems fine right now. The door is locked. We don't feel like watch TV right now. A stack of magazines left here. Yeah, you chase that butterfly. But not into the road, please. No! Whoa, 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 hey, hey. This is, this is live. I'm just gonna stay off the road. Wait, no, I'm supposed to probably cross the road. Whoops. Hey, hey. You. Stop. Slow down. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna take my time. Whoa, there are some fast initial ones. I almost made it. I, I got bamboozled at the very end. So one comes up. Just as I... Okay. Whew. Traffic's bad. Hey, you get any beef? They smell good. You like to try some. You bastard, what are you doing now? Hey, don't screw around with him. Didn't you see where the criminal tried around his neck? Hmm? Criminal tag. Apparently, they don't like me. Maybe don't have a cow. Oh, look, Boba. Oh, thanks. Fine. Don't give me any then. Hey, there's the butterfly. maze. Why is our robot me? No, maybe they're just an evil me. I don't know. Where are you going? You're a criminal and will, I will take you back. Don't tell me what you forgot what you did. I shall expect obedience from you or else you will die. Yeah. No, why is our bullet from me now? So it's not robot me, it's zombie me. This is a dead end. Literally, it's a dead end. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! You don't have- oh, it was a boulder. You have to recall what you do, even just a little bit. Yeah, so it's, it's a little machine translate. It's not bad. Child. Looks like it's a puzzle. No, right there. It's probably the middle. Yeah, there, oh, there you were. You're hiding. There. That's me. Now, who is this? Young. Hmm. Is the older version of us? 
Puzzle got bigger too. Solving them puzzles. There. Yeah, that that's pretty much us. I mean look at it. even our eyes look like glasses. Old. Whoopsie there you go. Hey butterfly, how you doing? You find the butterfly. That's the end of the game. Oh. Oh no, I'm old. Wait. Is that me or is that a offspring who just looks like me? You are my father. So that's it for Dreaming Butterfly. The ending is a little bit interpretive. I'm not quite sure what the, the necklace tag thing is. Uh, maybe that's something I, I wouldn't get. Like it's something regional or exclusive to the, the area the creator is from. Or maybe it's like a senior tag like with like medical info and maybe like living in a home or something. And I was trying to debate if the boy, the young man, and the, the old man were separate. The young man and the old man, I guess they're separate characters because they meet them at the end. That's that's the son. But it could just be a case, well, they're they're related, they just look similar. But it also looked like the boy was separate, so like it's three generations. And the story of the dreaming butterfly, it does have to do with living another life, essentially. And then waking up and kind of saying which is, you know, which side of the life is the one dreaming the other. So perhaps the the grandfather was dreaming and imagining he was the the grandson, which is representational of like youth or something. But yeah, this is the, this developer's first game they ever made. They have a another game looks like they're working on. So I would tell them as kind of like a first game feedback. It's like sprite work wise and like animations and everything. And probably theme was actually all especially for a first game is pretty good. The weakness would be the Game Jam style format, where this is very short. And the the gameplay is, since it's so short, is almost non-existent. And some of the, the connecting kind of like actual in-game animations are not as advanced as the cutscenes. So I don't want to knock them hard on like the gameplay or anything like that. I'll give them credit for the, the fairly early potential that they, they show. If they were to apply it to a, a more full-fledged, uh, even short-form game. So, the second game we'll be playing is Painting Lacey, a horror game about balancing your work life and your hobbies. And this hobby may or may not involve painting. Chat with Lacey. Is this Lacey right here? Huh. You're very talkative. So, people? What am I doing? Is this a scratch off? Oh, it's a smile. Two people smile. People holding hands. Do you want to hold my hand, Lacey? Oh, 
I, I smiled, but a little bit less. Paris? I think that's where I want to go. I go, I want to go Paris someday. I can't tell if the smile's getting lesser. Do you want to go together? I don't even know what you are, Lacey. Why would I want to go with you? Send Lacey a smiley face. Lacey's love smiley faces. Move with... Okay. Interesting. Interesting perspective. What's going on over there? Home PC? Yeah, Paris. Award in five days. New job. Accept. I should look around the room more. Oh god, I'm working. Chat with Lacey. Lacey, I can't chat too long. I need to get work done. Yes, I like music. Do you like music? Sure. Bigger brush. I promise I'll listen to your new song tomorrow. We should probably get to work. I think we only have like a few minutes to get to work. Green and orange. Okay. Too much. There. Good ratio. We do, we're, graphic design is my passion. Let's get back home. I think our work is done for the day. Hey, how you doing? Um, I don't even know what that meant. Pizza? Sure, we get some pizza. Job result. Well done. Award in four days. New job. Running out of time. Do I like hearts? Um, apparently do I like multiple hearts? It's really there's secrets, but I'm on a time limit. I'm, I'm kind of feeling kind of pressured to like, explore too much. Okay. Green. Those are eyeballs. All right. Get the ratio right. There. Now I finish that work quick. Graphic design is truly my passion. Hey. You know what? I should have not maybe skipped this chat. I don't have time right now. I need to go to the computer. Job result well done. Award in three days. New job. I promise I'll watch your performance next time. It's a very interpretive game. Huh, it's all blue this time. Feeling a little sad? Very sad. Let's 
So, very big purple ratio. And this one will do it. There you go. We're running out of time. We're running out of time. Sorry, don't have time to talk. Don't you give that smaller brush stuff. Well done. Award in two days. New job. What are you people hiring me for? Hey, Lacey. Why are you so upset? Again, you know, I'm just upset. When I win the award, they will respect me. Mainly purple. Okay, work's done. Lacey, what's wrong? Oh god, I'm running out of time. Sorry, Lacey, can't talk to you. Well done. Award in one day. New job. Looks kind of like Lacey's, uh, headband. I'm not even sure what Lacey is. I have a very small brush now. Lacey? You represent myself, don't you? Mm. Red. Hundred percent. I did. Yeah, I got a Best Employee Award. Do no psychological horror game thing on me. I'm a good employee. Okay, let's go home. How can this routine fill of arbitrary timers and tasks bring such meaning to surface, cause such lavender streaks to crudely cover my life? How can such days repeat so often, become so meaningless, as stale as the air I breathe, leaving me to suffocate, and loneliness of once I once had? Silence bristles over muffled voices, and nothing but a blank canvas in between. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the game a second time, and I'm gonna get all those different messages you can find around. Because now that I realize the limits of the, the time limit, basically. So I'm going to play those here so we can kind of get the plot together. I promise we'll go to Paris next year. I promise I'll listen to your new song tomorrow. I promise we'll order pizza next week. 
I promise I'll watch your performance next time. When I win this award, they will respect me. So that's it for painting Lacey. So Lacey is the child of the, the playable character. So each day is, every message is basically relating to the, the dialogues you have. So it's like, oh, my music practice. Oh, let's get pizza, this and that. And our parent here is like, no, we, we, I got a lot of work. Uh, I can't next time. So it's just like broken promises and it's just kind of exacerbating. My one question is the ending where I think there's multiple ways you can interpret that. Because it ends on a real weird cliff note where you walk in and it kind of just cuts off just as you get inside. And obviously the final drawing, it's red paint, but it looks like it's blood splattered everywhere. And you see what I'm assuming is Lacey's like headphones. But that makes you wonder like, did the did the daughter commit suicide? Is that what we were about to be revealed to us as we walked in? Or was it just, oh, this is all finally over. Now I can get my life together and we can go to Paris. Because the way the strand is kind of drawn in the end during the credits made me kind of wonder about that. It could just be artsy. I could be overthinking it. But maybe kind of like wonder, like, is that, you know? Because the, the red paint just made me think that something happened to Lacey. Because she wasn't there. She was crying the night before and she's not there the next day. So something happened negatively. That's what I'm assuming. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play those two different games. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.